You're back in Olympia again. The 2016 session began January 11th. Now, last year, the legislature was in session in special session for more than six months. So do you expect to see the sessions go long this year? Well, first of all, John, I didn't realize we'd even left. It seemed like we went so long in 15. You know, I'm not as optimistic as some of my colleagues are. I don't think there's any reason we can't finish in 60 days, but I wouldn't hold my breath that we won't go somewhat longer because of what's on our plate. What tweaks do you see that we need in the supplemental budget? Well, I think, for example, that we're going to have to be looking at some fire suppression. We've had these horrible fires the last two summers up in the northeast part of the state. You know, emergency monies, maybe flooding. It could be any number of things, but I like to see the supplemental budget deal with things that could be unexpected. What other issues do you see as hot topics that will be possibly considered this session? Well, of course, we're under a mandate from the court to work on education, the McClary decision, and I'm assuming both the Appropriations Committee and the Education Committee are working diligently to attempt to come up with a fix for the McClary decision. I'm not real fond of the court mandate. I mean, after all, the court says we're fined $100,000 a day. But as you know, there's only one body that can appropriate money, and that's us. And I can't see why we would be appropriating money to uh, fine ourselves, so to speak. I think charter schools as another issue. Again, I'm going to take on the Supreme Court. I think they made a huge disservice to the people who are involved in charter schools by waiting until after school began to make their decision uh, saying they are not constitutional. I'm hoping that we will see a fix for that. I think people have a right of choice in their education. This year, you're serving on a new committee. Tell us about that. Well, it's uh, general government and informational technology. It's interesting because of my background in municipal government. You know, as you know, I was on three different councils, Mabton, Toppenish, and Yakima. And hopefully, uh, during my 20-some plus years that I was in municipal government, I learned something about watching budgets. A lot of appropriation requests come through that committee. And so it's going to be interesting to see how that all shakes out in the end. We've only had a couple of meetings since legislature began in January. So I'll wait and see and tell you next time.